this is just a quick video showing the uh, damage to the um, the wood veneer effect covering of this Roland F30 digital piano. Uh, here, starting at this end, you can see there's uh, obviously the damage there that comes over. Um, some more damage there. Uh, that bit there that lifts up. Sorry, there you go. So that lifts up there. Um, the bottom edge uh, is okay, little bits of dots and things you can see there, there's a, uh, wherever it's gone, can't see it because of my finger, that tiny bit there, uh, coming on the front, we'll go along the top, so you can see that, I'll move along in like sections, oh that's a bit of a dust. Hopefully you can see that's fine. There you've got a couple of uh, dinks, and from the sideways view, you can see I think it's hit something before I got it. Uh, there's a mark there. It's a scratch or it'll come off. I don't know. Um, around the front, uh, this edge that lifts up, so that could be stuck down the end of the uh, and you've got this uh, bottom bit here. Um, now the next, go on the front, that be a good idea. So you can see the keys. There we go. There we go. That's good condition of the keys and stuff. Got a little uh, dink thing there. Me. Let's lift it up now. Okay, so this is the bottom of the unit. That's where the uh, couple of connectors there. As you can see, if you look carefully, if I zoom in a bit, that's for your headphones. Um, these uh, screws mean that you can basically take the unit apart. You can put new end caps on or make some pieces of wood, make your own frame if you wanted to, put the electrics in it. Uh, that's the model, there we go, an F30E. Um, you can see there's a couple of smaller dings there and there. Let's pull out again. A couple of scratches in the centre there. Uh, move along to there. Move along to the speaker at the end. Down that scratch there. You can see that there. Okay, I'll turn it over. Okay, so carrying on the video here, we've got the back of the piano here. You can see there's a scuff marks along there. Move along. There's a scratch mark. Uh, see if it's scratched all the way along there. The uh, sockets, no damage. There, another scratch mark there. Uh, a bit of a dink there, perhaps. Another scuff mark there. Small one there. And that's the way you could see on the end from before. Um, and that's what's done. Okay, so while we're doing the damage thing, I might as well show you also the, the power supply. Nothing wrong with that, that's not damaged. Um, that's Jamie Rowland one, and it also comes, the keyboard comes with this uh, smoked uh, cover that covers the keys. That's just to stop all the dust getting down in between the keys, etc. Um, so there's no other accessories other than the power supply and that uh, key cover I've just shown you. Now I'm going to plug it in for you, and I might as well do you a quick uh, audio demo of the piano voice so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, that's now plugged in. Uh, this is the power switch. This side, so you can see the the piano lights lit. I'll put some volume on, and
can also put um, reverb on, so you've got your standard sound there. Um, put some reverb on, and then you've got your. So the reverb makes it sound quite nice. Uh, electric piano. So it's uh, touch sensitive, or should I say velocity sensitive. It's great, it's a um, beautiful piano sound.